Hello, welcome to GOT, Gadgets on Top News. I'm Mark. So today, topping the news is the Galaxy Z Flip 5. According to The Verge, the external display is going to be, get a big improvement. It's going to grow in size from 1.9 inches to somewhere between 3.4 and 3.6 inches. This display doubling in size is going to give you a 720 pixel display, which will give you a more ideal display for taking selfies. You get more of an image there. It also works with Google Maps, and, and you can respond to text on that display, browse the website, and, and many other features can be used on that external display so you don't have to actually open the phone and save you time. According to many of the top tech sites, the unpack event for Samsung is going to happen on July 26, 2023. And soon after that, they'll be releasing the Z Flip 5. And it's rumored to be priced at $999 with 128 gigabyte storage. Now, this price has got a big competitor if you look at the Motorola Razor Plus. The Verge also says that the Motorola Razor Plus has a 6.9 inside display, which is 1080p and 165 hertz refresh rate. That's pretty huge for a smaller screen. Also, it's going to have a cover display of 3.6 inches on this Razor Plus. And the 3.6 cover screen, you can do a lot of outside features as well as browse the web, answer text messages, of course, the selfie shots <laughs> you can get on that larger screen. The Motorola Razor Plus launch date is June 23rd this month, and it's going to start out at $999 with 256 gigs of storage, so that's pretty competitive. Make you think twice about whether you should get the Z Flip or the Motorola Razor. Other news from Samsung is a smartwatch 6. They're thinking that it's going to also be announced at this next. The rumors I like hearing about this new Samsung smartwatch comes from MySmartPrice.com. I'll share the link below. In this report, they're saying there's going to be the return of the rotating bezel on the smartwatch. Samsung's smartwatch 5, they removed the rotating bezel, which I really enjoy. I have it on my current watch. And there's a lot of benefits to that. And I didn't upgrade simply because of the rotating bezel being missing. With that rotating bezel, it helps you to, to browse through menus just by scrolling. And you can also change your volume. You can change your brightness just by turning that bezel. Very similar to the crown rotating on the Apple Watch. You rotate it to browse through the menus. You can do that with the bezel on the smartwatch from Samsung. Concerning the Google Pixel Fold, 9 to 5, Google says that there is delays in the orders. Apparently, they got more orders than they expected, which is a good thing. However, I'm not sure that they actually expected it to be so good. So what does that tell us? They're not expecting the phone to be as good, so they didn't think it would be as popular. Or maybe they just didn't need to sell as many to make their point. So hopefully, it's the latter. So they are delayed. And apparently, the original pre-orders that were supposed to arrive June 26th, 27th, have been pushed out just a couple days, 28th, June 28th but through July 7th, so possibly a 10-day delay for those first adapters to order the phone. Now, the pre-orders are still available for the Google Fold. However, everything's been pushed out. If you're going to get the Obsidian model, 256 gigabyte, it's moved out to July 19th through 27th. And if you want to order the Porcelain one, 512, it's going to come August 2nd to August 10th. And anything other than that, it's going to be pushed to later August, maybe even September. Another news leak from MySmartPrice.com is on the Z Fold 5. They're saying this, of course, we all know that the hinge is going to allow it to fold flat, so there won't be that gap when it's folded. But also they're saying when you put it down on the table, it will fold flat. It'll lay flat on the table. It won't rock like the Pixel Fold does. But you know a phone that always laid flat? Right here, the Surface 2. No problem with it rocking or laying flat. Now moving on to the iPhone 15, Tech Radar says the iPhone 15 rumors, there's several of them saying that the iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus are both going to have the dynamic island. So bye bye to the notch, no more notch. I think a lot of people will be glad to see that go. Also, the iPhone edge of the phone will be slightly a little more round. So I guess a little easier on the hand to hold. And all the models will receive the USB-C connector or port. So bye-bye to the lightning cable and the lightning port. Way to go, Apple. Here's something that should be new. Rumor is that they're going to add an extra button or a new button on the side of the iPhone. You know the little volume mute switch that they have on the side of the phones? They're going to remove that and replace that with an action button. 
Now the action button comes from their Apple Watch Ultra. You know, it's got an action button. It's programmable. I don't know if it's going to be as programmable on the phone, but that'll be an interesting thing. Get rid of that mute button. If you want the mute button, program it to mute or program it to just something else. Next bit of news I want to talk about is the Galaxy Tab S9. Tech Radar and Android Authority are both reporting on this, and they both believe that it's going to be announced at the next Unpack event on July 26. Of course, there are three models on the S9. There's the Tab S9, there's the Plus, and then the Ultra, which is the super big model. Rumored is they're all going to come Wi-Fi and 5G versions available. There's no real design change to speak of between really the 7, which I have, the 8, and now the 9. And the rumor is that they will be shipping with a 45-watt charger. And of course, the next-gen tabs will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, matching today's flagship. That's it for the news today. Thank you for joining me. Till next time, God bless.